Peace, YouTube. What's good? Hare Krishna. Listen, I got something to say. And this is a serious subject. Because there's a lot of people who, when we talk about slavery on Facebook or on the public forum or what have you, often they'll be like, you know, leave it alone. That's the past. It's not now. It's not affecting you now. All of the people who enslaved somebody is dead. We don't have to pay reparations. Let me explain something to you. Scientists have done research on a gene. The gene starts with the letters K and P. I think it's KP45. And they found that post-traumatic stress disorder or post-traumatic syndrome encodes itself on this gene. So slavery, trauma, all of these things get encoded on a certain gene and get passed to the kids. <clears throat> In essence, scientists have found out that black people who have survived the Ma'afa or the transatlantic slave trade have been genetically modified. In other words, they're not normal people. They are mutants. The people who descended from the slave trade are mutated. They're not going to act normal. They're not going to act like people who have never been affected by slavery. So I would appreciate it if you can keep your opinions to yourself. If your ancestors have never been raped or lynched or had their genitals cut off, or, or, or have had to work in the hot sun all day and all night and a, and a man has to watch his kids being raped and his wife being raped and a boy has to sleep with his own mother to breed, to become a buck. If your people ain't been through this, you need to keep your mouth shut. It's none of your business and you have no right to comment on what another person is going through. As far as I was told, only Paramatma, the supreme super soul who travels with each of us from life to life, actually knows what each individual's pains are. So don't come to me with your karma talk. Don't come to me with your, you're going to get what you deserve. Let me explain something to you. First of all, suffering is of three types. The type that is caused by your mind and your body. That's like if I knock somebody out, I can expect that somebody else is going to knock me out. That's trouble that I caused myself. Well, if I think negative and my health breaks down, that's trouble I cause myself. Then you have supernatural trouble that comes from nature. Okay? And then you have trouble that comes from other living entities. So if you see a man get burnt on his arm by coffee, it's not necessarily his karma. It could be supernatural, okay? But it can also be his karma. Once again, if a man goes through slavery, it's not always that he was a slave driver in a past life. Maybe there's just evil, idiotic, demonic devils that live in the flesh that like to cause pain and suffering for other living entities. So I'm not letting nobody off the hook just because you feel uncomfortable or you feel like you don't have to pay reparations. You're going to pay reparations whether you like it or not, one way or another. It ain't going to necessarily be financial, but reparations will come because the universe always likes to balance itself. So once again, I would like to say for all of those quote unquote black people who are harping on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat about slavery and reparations, you ain't wrong. I support you. And for those who have not been through this, you need to shut up because you do not understand and it's none of your business. If you want to help, you either be quiet or open your mouth and fight against this white supremacy because just like post-traumatic Stress disorder can be encoded on the genes. So can stupid concepts like white supremacy. You understand? This ain't no angry black man, but I'm just tired of people telling me what I should post or what I should not post and that I am not this body. I am not this body, but this body definitely affects my journey. If I walk into a room full of white people, this body will affect my existence, especially if they're Trump followers or Ku Klux Klan or police. By the way, shout out to Bill Bratton. Don't let the door hit you with a good Lord split you. Hurry, bow.